My name is Henry Shin, and I'm the music director and conductor of the Glendale Youth Orchestra. I'm excited to present to you a very unique and exciting program um, called GYO in Pieces. We have split up the orchestra into three components, the strings, the woodwinds, and the brass. And the reason we did that, of course, was to keep them socially distant and um, to make sure that we're all safe. This is really a reflection of the times. This is a reflection of COVID-19. This whole thing that we're creating right now is a document of what was going on during this pandemic. And even though things aren't, you know, as, as polished as it would be in, in our normal concerts uh, would be, uh, it, it really is a testament of, you know, what these kids are able to do and what they've been, you know, feeling all of this time. You will hear, you know, you will really hear them play their hearts out. Uh, you will, you know, you will hear them really come together with one another. Uh, we're going to open with the Mozart Ave Verum Corpus, which is originally for choir and orchestra, but we've rearranged this for brass choir. Um, reason being is because I love the brass choir sound and it gave the, our brass kids a chance to just play together and, and hold their own. Then the second piece on the program is the opening of the Serenade for Winds by Antonin Dvorak. Um, this features our woodwinds, and you will find that this is more of a fanfare. This is really sort of the real introduction to the orchestra. Following the Dvorak is the uh, Charles Ives Unanswered Question, which features our strings, um, some of our woodwinds, and our trumpet player. Um, this, for us, was an interesting piece because um, not only what did it allow more of us to play together, but uh, you ha essentially have two groups sort of fighting against one another and, and one, the, our trumpet player, uh, asking the, the question. Now, what the subject matter is that they are arguing about and what the question is, um, we leave it up to the listener, to you, the audience. Um, but in these current times, current climate that we're in, in these divided times particularly, um, we thought it was appropriate to express this, but through music. Following the Dvorak is the Charles Gounod Petit Symphony for woodwinds. And this, again, highlighting the woodwinds, uh, they, it's, it's a main repertoire piece for them. And I'm just so glad to get um, a chance for them to share the limelight there. And then uh, sort of our big chunk here is um, sections of the Vivaldi's Four Seasons. We've, put, we've picked um, a few of the seasons, um, the second movement of the spring, all of summer, and the first movement of autumn. And that was to symbolize what was happening during this time, the time that we missed during this pandemic. And so that for, for us, that was very moving. And then finally, we're going to end uh, with a Christmas medley called the Pr Christmas Bell Medley by Shackley. And this features our brass uh, contingent again. And this is just to get into the holiday spirit. We thought this would be a way to bring family and friends together. So please enjoy meeting some of our musicians and enjoy the program. And without further ado, here's GYO in Pieces.
my name is Cole. Um, I play the violin and I've been with the GYO for five years. The feeling of doing a concert with GYO is truly like a roller coaster. There's no one emotion that can describe the whole thing. Oh yeah, my favorite part about GYO is, would probably be the concerts. I, I find the environment fun, you know, you know, when you get the butterflies in your stomach, it's, it's always nice. And then you get, you go up on stage, all the lights are on you. It feels really good. I like a lot of GYO, you know, I really like the, the, the rehearsals. I love, you know, just playing with other people. But I gotta say my favorite part is right before a concert when we're all eating food together. And you know, it's not just because we're eating food, but because I feel like a lot of the time when we're rehearsing, we don't get a lot of bonding time. And so whenever we're all just together before a concert, you know, talking, it's like a time to get to know each other. And I think it's really cool. <laughs> I think this concert was a little more special for me, not only because it was a virtual um, concert that we didn't think we would have, but also because I was chosen to play a solo for the Vivaldi um, concert repertoire. So um, I think this was the first solo I had really done with GYO. And um, even though it was virtual and even though it wasn't going necessarily the complete concert experience that um, I would have thought in maybe like freshman year, it was certainly um, probably just as good um, being able to still play with other people and still um, be under the direction of Henry, our conductor, for that, so.
Uh, so my name is Scott. Uh, I play the cello, and I've been in GYO for about three years. Th this guy over here, he's my brother. Um, he plays the viola, and he's been in GYO for about two years. That's true. Um, I'd say that uh, to be part of this type of orchestra is really like, I don't know, it makes me feel proud, almost. Um, it's the Glendale Youth Orchestra. It's not like just this random youth orchestra. It's Glendale Youth Orchestra. People actually know what it is. And it makes me feel, yeah, proud to be in it, to make it into it. And yeah, it's sort of a fun thing to say to other people. Yeah, I'm in GYO. Yeah, during like the day-by-day -day rehearsals, it doesn't really feel like we're part of something like bigger and stuff. It's just like, oh, we're just like casual, like having fun and stuff. But during the actual concert, it's like, wow, okay, like we're GYO. Like, it's a, it's, it's sort of a big thing when you, like, step back and think about it. Playing the violin in the GYO has been a completely different experience for me because I've been in other orchestras before, but I think the community we have in GYO is just different and it's a lot more family-like. And I just love everyone in the GYO, uh, my fellow members, the conductor. This year, even though we're not getting that same experience as before, I think we're still making the best out of it and we can still come together as a family. Um, something that makes it special is just like the people there. Everyone, um, they're just so passionate. All of us were dedicated. Um, no one's there because their parents forced them, or at least I hope not. Um, and like everyone's there because they want to be there.
So my name is Rachel. I play the violin and I've been playing in GYO for four years. And this is my sister. My name is Pauline. I also play the violin and I've been playing in GYO for around three years. So it feels so great to be playing with my friends again and it was what was so normal to us back then, now it's not normal. So it feels so good to be back with everyone and to play in, on a stage. It also feels very amazing for me too because those friends that I couldn't be able to see on Zoom, only through Zoom calls, I get to see them and we've all been missing the concert stages so much. So going back there today seems really nice. Playing in this concert is so exciting because it, was an, or it is an opportunity to play with people again, which I haven't been able to do since March, which is insane. Playing with people again means so much to me because I have had this absence of not being able to story tell through music and share stories. So it is so exciting to be able to share stories again with these incredible musicians. Uh, my name is Ingrid. I play the cello and I've been in GYO um, for one year. Um, the people who inspire me are people who are young in, um, and play classical music because a lot of the people who play classical music are older and it's inspiring to see that they're young and doing so well. Being a part of GYO is sort of preserving in a way because you know, not as many people nowadays are as into classical music. So it's sort of like keeping a tradition. Special, of course, very special. Thank you. 
Uh, my name is Emily. I played the violin and I have been playing in GYO since seventh grade, so about four years. Um, we decided to play Vivaldi's Four Seasons because Henry had asked us, I have a few ideas, but I want to hear what you would want to play for this concert. The string section banded together and we thought um, it would be really cool as a joke to say that we wanted to play Vivaldi's Four Seasons in accordance to the different seasons that were affected by COVID. And we jokingly pitched this to Henry, our conductor, and surprisingly enough, he did say yes, which we had never thought in a million years that um, an idea as seemingly silly like that would actually be accepted for our concert. So. The solo I picked in particular, I feel um, is really connecting to our times, right? It's really slow, but it's also really emotional. And, um, kind of the emotion that I tried to embed inside of it was trying to connect with people and that feeling that they have inside of them, whether it be because of the loss of a loved one or just the situation that we're in. It's slow, but at the same time, it has this pureness um, that really is striking throughout the orchestra because the orchestra doesn't play much. So it has this piercing quality that I think really strikes the emotion in people. Okay, so this concert was really meaningful to me because it was my first time playing in this orchestra as a soloist, not a member of the orchestra. really enjoyed it this time. Yeah, I completely agree with my sister. It was also my first solo and I prepared very hard for it. And it's kind of nice being able to talk to each other about music and sometimes we, if we don't know a part, we would like share and kind of teach each other some difficult parts. And I also think it really helps because we help stay each other motivated and inspired. Like I would push myself to reach my sister's level and vice versa. So it always helps being yeah. together. My sister, is she works really hard and I think she's really passionate about violin. And sometimes I'm not as motivated, but watching her practice, I'm like, oh, I think I should get to work. Even though it's not a live concert where the audience like stands up and applauds for me, I still think that the opportunity given to me as a soloist was I was very grateful to our conductor because I've always dreamed of playing a solo in an orchestra and I think one of my strong points as a violinist is playing with a nice tone and making the piece beautiful so um, I was very happy to be chosen for that one and uh, I worked a lot on trying to put some emotion into the piece because that's a really important part of it. So I think it was playing this solo was a chance for me to grow a lot more as a violinist.
Um, my name is Lily. I play the flute and I've been in GYO for four years now. I'm so happy about the recording we just made, about the concert we just made, because it's, um, it's different and it's something that we've been able to do. And honestly, it's been probably the highlight of quarantine. When he came home from rehearsal, he was like always talking about like how fun it was. And I was like, oh, I, w I wanna be there next year. And yeah, um, when I auditioned a year earlier than he had auditioned, he would like, it was kind of like, oh, you're probably not gonna get in, but like just for the experience. And then when I do got in, it was like, yeah, let's go. I didn't entirely say that, <laughs> but I, I, I did encourage him. Yeah, you should try out, it'd be fun. And I, I was equally surprised he made it, but I, I'm, I'm happy he made it in and that we can experience this together. Like, I'm not really big of a solo player uh, for trombone. I love feeling that like, um, this like group energy when we're playing, like this big sound, especially in the brass section, it gives me like inner satisfaction just to hear all of the music come together like that. My favorite thing to do after our shows is get ice cream with all my friends. You know, generally we go to Menchie's and I get, you know, some tart fro frozen yogurt and it's pretty great. <laughs> but you know, the boba also slaps. It's boba every time. Boba. <laughs> I think that's a must. Yeah. The way that I like to celebrate after a concert is mainly either going to In-N-Out with a Habit 
you know, just get a hamburger and eat and then go home and sleep. Boba. Boba. <laughs> Uh, definitely ice cream. I mean, boba, I love boba, but I, there's nothing like, I, like ice cream, you know, after a, for a big celebration, you know?